We're going to continue our recap of the battle in the 614. And we had a what I've deemed the Battle of Columbus. Battle it's of always Columbus. good when two city teams compete against each other. And we had a good one, the local powerhouse, the yeah. Afrocentric Nubians yep. versus the Bishop Hartley Hawks. Yes. Let's first talk about, you know, we know them. We want to go. The state know them. Everybody knows Everybody them. Everybody knows about Afrocentric. Look. You don't know about Avicenna, you don't know girls the, basketball in this state. Listen, it's just that simple. The Nubians are the Nubians. They are, yeah, yeah, a a high. Yes, that's that's what world famous. Like. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know how many. I need to figure out how many state championships they have. Um, but the, just a strong program, mm -hmm. and every year, um, they never cease to amaze me of how they put it together. Yeah, um, going from Coach Will McKinney to mm -hmm. Janisha Anderson. Mm -hmm. Who has done an amazing job? Yes, um, I think the girls are bought into what she wants for her program, and I know we've talked about this before. Do it your way. Yes, and she's done that. Yes, she's done that, and some, um, yeah. yeah, they were fun to watch. Yeah, and Afrocentric, they did come out with a win, fifty-nine to forty-five. Um, uh, as you see, some of the highlights playing on the screen. We got to shout out a couple of these players. Look, oh, yeah. Look number that one. one. Even yeah. though we see Kiki knock down that shot, Kiki had to work a lot. She had to work a lot. Ashton Winfrey. Yeah. Her defense. You can get far being an elite defender. And she is that. Yes. And she pick up full court. Yes. She not doing no you get two seconds of rest. No. Yes. Not going to happen. No. And, and that last play right there, that was Taylor uh, Claiborne, mm -hmm. the post player. I remember, and I said this on the broadcast, I remember when she was first starting. Mm -hmm. And Coach... Janisha and Coach Mossy and, you know, um, Taisha Moss, um, all alumni from Africa Center, Africa. which is crazy, right? Right. Um, put in so much work and time, and she just stayed the course. Yes. Look at her calling for the ball. I mean, that's Keeps hard the ball to up. guard. Like, you know, doesn't bring do it down. That? That's good coaching, great fundamentals. Absolutely. And, you know, for kids that think that, hey, I'm not that great, I don't have it, she did. She she's a she is an example of saying, wait a minute, I can continue to fight right. to be better and just work and work like put your head down and work. Look at her. Work Another one does bring like, the ball down. I think it's the sleeve. It, it the leg it's sleeve. The leg sleeve. That's popular. It is very popular. The one leg sleeve. The one. You know, you got Wilson. It's Wilson and yeah. Dua. You got quite a few players. The one. The one sleeve. The I one think sleeve. that's what it is. Yeah. Who else we have on there? Oh. The, uh, Our solid brick player of the game. Yes. Natalia Nelson. Tell us a little bit about Natalia. Yeah, Nelson is actually a transfer from uh, Toledo Rogers. The okay. School where Zaya Cook played. Oh, okay. Coach Lamar. Um, great program mm -hmm. up in Toledo. Uh, came here. Uh, mom got a new job. They all moved here. The whole entire family. Oh, yeah. And that move she made right there was unbelievable. <laughs> that Euro. But anyways. Hoof, hoof. Okay. Went right through it. Nelson is such an active player. Yes. Like great size. Um, always looking for the ball um, defensively is just everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to attack the – look at the smile. Look, look at the at smile. Look at the smile. Look, she's ready. She's ready for big time. She's ready for big so time. So tell me this. We, yeah. since, since you know um, uh, Nelson really well, yep. What's the? what are a couple things she can do mm -hmm. to just take it up a notch? Yeah, we talk about this, so she'll, she'll, she'll attest to this. Okay. Um, that ability to, to move laterally. Okay. She's got forward. Okay. She, she will run you right over and don't think twice about it. And you got to love that about her. But that mid-range, being able to read mm. and stop and pop and, and use the floater and mm. use all of those different types. Because she's so fast, she's going to get to the rim. But what if you have a player that's right. already set? Right. We don't want her in foul trouble or anything like that. So those are the things we're looking at. And then shooting. Obviously, we're working really hard to make sure that she's, you know, getting that together. Um but, yeah, those are the things she is very aware of. It, and she spent a lot of time working on those things. She's right. super competitive. Right. Like, if we were playing Uno, yeah, she, <laughs> she had a whole, like, yeah, yeah, she's competitive about See, everything. Y'all probably do that whole reverse Uno, all the different rules, make it, you know, if y'all playing that way. Yeah, it'd be some people that be cheating. Okay. And some of y'all, I know y'all about to be spending time with y'all family, so y'all <laughs> need to be prepared. It's a lot of family members that be cheating. Yeah. On the game, don't do like family that. rules. Play how Uno app. Right. Read you know, the instructions. Read the instructions. Don't make up your own stuff <laughs> and have people upset <laughs> at the dinner table. But I love that to hear about players yeah. who, especially younger players, who are ultra competitive. Because yeah. I think it's really easy to get. I don't want to say the wrong thing. They quench that fire. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can say, oh, it's you're doing too much. You're doing this. I like players who are competitive. They want to play well. They want to get better. She's never good enough. And always wanted to take that next step to get yeah. to the next level. That so exactly. I appreciate hearing that she's such a comp- And she played that way, too. Yeah. She turned it up in that second half. Oh, yeah, she did. Because she knew. She knew that it was. She knew she wasn't contributing enough in that first half. Yeah. That's what she said. And she stepped up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shout out to our great player of the game. We can't forget about the Harley Hawks. Yeah. Um, obviously, the senior, Kiki McElrath, who was yeah. on the homecoming court. Yes, played really was. well. Fabulous. Um, a little different team this year. Obviously, we always have to shout out Ella Brenda Way, who is headed to the Ohio State University on a volleyball scholarship. Yeah. Um, we completely understand him not wanting to play uh, this year um, because when you're a nearly, listen, yeah, yeah. volleyball is big time sports and you, yeah. you protect. You're power five. You, you protect home court. <laughs> You're power five volleyball. You, listen. Like, yeah, there's some decisions, and that's a tough decision. Right. And I think on our show we made it very comfortable, a safe place for all athletes. Obviously, yes. we cover women's basketball, girls' basketball. But for her, a safe place to say, hey, that's a tough decision. Yes. And you have to respect it. And I think Bishop Hartley has done that. Yes. Um, but with, I also love the dual sport athlete. We don't really yeah, see that anymore. Yeah, yeah. And just to even last year to be able to get your team to the final four, as well as get a scholarship to Ohio, Univer- uh, Ohio State University um, as a division one volleyball player. It's that hard. just takes effort it and takes skill and yeah. the commitment of you, your family, all of it. Um, it's just great to see a dual sport athlete, but we completely understand yep. um, her making that decision. So it's just a different composition for the Hartley Hawks. Yeah. Um, but what did you see from them in this game? Obviously, they played a powerhouse of a team, um, but they fought really hard. They really did. And every player played really hard. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna they're going to have to just get it done. And I think that's what they're figuring it out. Like, figuring out, you know what's the best position for certain people? You know what I mean? Do I distribute here? Do I distribute here? Do I take that shot? Can I take that shot? Mm-hmm. Like when you had a player like Brandy, we shots were different. Mm-hmm. The amount of volume of shots that you could take, obviously, because obviously she's going to get a lot more shots. Mm-hmm. Now you had, um, who was that? Um, Anaya Thorne. Anaya Thorne. She has solid. a lot of potential. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes. Yes, she does. Yes. And she's figuring it out. Yes. And she just never quit. I love that about her. Like, yeah. It's not about being the best of the best. Who cares about that? It's the fact that she never gave up. How many screens she Listen. set? Literally, listen. a couple players, that would have been their last game. It would have been their last game. She said. Now, listen, if you want to know how to set a good screen. Watch Anaya Thorne. Watch Anaya Thorne. She's a screen setter. We she don't is. get her an award. We don't get her an award. Yes. Screen setter. But here. that's a job not a lot of people take for granted. But no. when you need to relieve pressure from your guard, you need somebody who's that. willing to take that contact. And she, she had did. no problem with it. Yes. And like the bang down low, get rebounds, finish really well. Active. Yes. She, yes. yes. Another player I wanted to shout out to was Zaria Williams. You like Zaria Williams. I, I do did like too. Zaria yeah. Williams. I think that um, to relieve some of the pressure on Kiki, I think she has a she good does. handle. and he- uh, I thought so too. Could contain, could handle the pressure yep. um, that Afrocentric was putting out. She could handle that really well. I agree. And I think the next step for her is just to step into that confidence just a little bit more to say, hey. And be short. Yes. Be short. It's okay if you get a couple turnovers. It's okay if um, it doesn't go your way a couple of times. But yep. as you get better and more comfortable, she has a solid enough She's got handle. Williams, comp- be, hand com- up. be you. Yes. Be you. If you could watching. Shoot, be you, honey. Yes. Be you. You got we it. We wanted to shout you out. We were really impressed with, with how she played. Yep. So, yeah, that was a good game. That was a good game. The Battle of Columbus. That's Ooh, how I deemed it. Battle but of Columbus. Shout out to the Afrocentral who came out with a win. 